it's Amanda and welcome back to another episode of I just rearranged my entire room to film some outfits. Anyway, today I'm going to be filming a college majors as outfits lookbook inspired by Katie Yu on YouTube who has this amazing series of um, like what college majors would wear if they had a decent fashion sense and enough sleep. So you should totally check out her videos if you haven't before. So yeah, I'm gonna do my own take on what I think some liberal arts college majors would wear if they were to have a decent fashion sense and not go to school on Zoom, I suppose. <laughs> These outfits are quite idealistic considering that I only have to show this part and above of my body when I go to class these days. So this is like my outfit every day. Um, yeah. <laughs> Also, YesStyle so kindly gifted me a lot of clothes in this video, so I will link them below, and I also might have a discount code that you guys can use, so I'll put that on the screen. <laughs> All right, let's get into it, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Even though I've had many an existential crisis about my major and what I'm doing in college and what I'm doing in life and all this stuff, I've never actually changed my major because I'm so indecisive that it actually scares me even more to be in a state of flux and ambiguity so I kind of force myself to just like stick with something if I decide to do it unless I absolutely hate it. Anyway, this outfit is supposed to be about an English major. English majors, I don't know, I think something about this major is so romantic so that's why I paired this rose printed maxi dress with this black turtleneck because it's pretty cold outside but I do like how the layering makes it look more casual. I definitely think that this would be the type of outfit that the main girl in a fanfiction would wear as she was casually browsing the local bookstore and just had this random off chance meet cute with a boy who she absolutely despises by the name of Harry Styles. You know, they all start like that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so do what you will with that information. Next, the philosophy major. This person is probably too occupied with existential thoughts about humanity to really care about what they're wearing, but still manages to look effortlessly good. The corduroy cocked jacket kind of leans towards a granola environmental science major vibe, but I think that the sweater vest and wireframe glasses add an air of sophistication inherent in most philosophy majors. Next we have the math major. I think my initial reaction whenever I come across a math major is, wow, there are people out there who genuinely enjoy doing math and are very good at it, and I'm definitely not one of them. I don't really have any outfits that scream I enjoy trying to figure out unsolvable multivariable equations, so this sweatshirt that says Antique Telescope Society is the closest I could get. I also paired it with this tennis skirt that I definitely missed the window of opportunity to wear outside because it's way too cold now. Next is the history major. I don't have much commentary for the history major. I've never met a history major. I don't know any stereotypes about them either. I just figured that they'd probably be likely to go to law school, so this plaid skirt suit jacket combo thing would look nice with that. Or they could probably be a museum docent, and this would also be a very cute outfit for that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next, the fine arts major. This is definitely one of my favorite outfits just because of how comfortable it is. I think it would be great for spending hours in a studio inhaling oil paint fumes. Anyway, the shirt I'm wearing I actually bought at a college print fest from an art major when I was visiting my friend Cecilia there. I feel like the clashing patterns actually work with this outfit because the leaf pattern on the skirt is so small and the tie-dye swirl is so much larger, and also because they're in the same muted color palette. Of course, I had to add the requisite canvas tote because art major, and I thought these Starry Night inspired socks would make the perfect addition to this outfit. And then we have the theater major, the theater major. Just like a theater major, everything in this outfit is a statement, a statement piece, but because all the colors tie in together, it doesn't look too busy. Honestly, I was always super shy growing up, so I secretly wanted to be one of those theater kids because they just looked like they were having so much fun being loud and singing all the time. But alas, I was too scared to try to do that, so I'm just trying to dress like one now. Honestly, if this outfit had knee socks, Rachel Berry would probably be wearing it in an episode of Glee, so it's the perfect look to break a leg. <laughs> Next up is political science, and I know what you're thinking. You probably associate political science majors with wearing khakis, button-up ties, and generally not looking like they're cosplaying a character in the Matrix, but hear me out. The inspiration behind this outfit is the one and only Olivia Pope from Scandal. The faux leather jacket is the closest thing I could get to a trench coat, but I feel like this outfit just says, I will get shit handled, and that's what politics is all about, right? I'm crossing the Potomac. Next up is the computer science major. I think this is one of the more realistic outfits from the bunch. Jeans and a t-shirt, perfect for tricking people into thinking that you are a human being and not a robot. I'm definitely missing the hoodie or backpack embroidered with a software company's logo, but I think this is close enough. And bonus points for looking like Arthur. Last, but certainly not least, we have the Women, Gender, and Sexuality Studies major. This outfit is perfect for dismantling the patriarchy and looking cute at the same time. You can dress it up for class with a blazer, but it's still super nice and comfortable if you want to hang out with your friends in the park and not be catcalled. Thank you guys so much for watching, let me know what your favorite outfit was, and I'll see you in my next video.